talk us through how you uh, managed to uh, clinch that deal with uh, LG uh, AI mm -hmm. Research and uh, mm -hmm. who's next uh, in line and how international in scope uh, are you going to take your value proposition? Sure. Uh, I just briefly like to show the our second gen product we are right now sampling uh, with LG. Uh, so LG team actually uh, tested our chips to run their uh, very advanced AI model called XL1 for the last couple of months. And uh, it's, uh, they validated uh, like we deliver the, the performance benchmarking to meet their uh, performance requirement. Also, at the same time, we proved our uh, energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. And also, uh, we provide them our software stack so that they can make a kind of seamless transition from kind of their existing GPU stack to us. So we, uh, they kind of validated all our kind of value proposition through their testing. Understood. And, and can you uh, tell us who uh, the foundry is uh, that you uh, work with and uh, why you uh, selected that company? Uh, we are right now working with uh, TSMC uh, foundry. This chip is uh, fabricated on TSMC's advanced 5 nanometer node. Uh, and we are also working with uh, SK Hynix uh, as a HBM module to integrate the HBM with uh, uh, the silicon dye onto the TSMC's advanced packaging as well. Uh, the reason is uh, the reason to work with these uh, uh, most advanced uh, partner is uh, definitely they are providing the best technology and best product to enable uh, the ambitious product we are building now. June, it's interesting, isn't it, that you're uh, able to accomplish this in the middle of uh, what seems to be uh, a trade war and a tariff war. How is Furiosa uh, navigating uh, these uh, potential supply chain challenges on the semiconductor and, and on the chip side? Um, these uh, tariffs definitely make uh, the business and supply chain more uh, challenging and uh, complicated. Uh, but uh, we like to very focused on our uh, fundamental business and innovation. Uh, if you look at the macro, uh, the, the demand for these AI chips are uh, really uh, uh, exploding and uh, we have a very exciting opportunity. So we like to fully focus on, uh, on our innovation, on our technology and product, and also our business, building our robust business, the durable business. Fantastic. And can you, June, shed some light on uh, what I understand to be potentially similar agreements uh, along the lines of uh, the one that you reached with LG that we could see in the second half of uh, this year? Uh, what have you got lined up? Sure. Uh, especially with the current uh, fundraising, with this uh, strong reference to LG, we get strong uh, requests and uh, uh, requests from our customer side uh, to uh, sample with our chips and to work with us. So uh, we are already uh, working and sampling with a couple of major customers. I'm not able to share the name yet, uh, but uh, we are looking forward to share a ma more uh, major customer design win in the second half of this year and continuing this momentum also in the coming years. Understood. Uh, you're going against uh, some pretty hefty competition in the, wake, in the form of NVIDIA. So, uh, June, just give us an idea of how you're going to scale, what the addressable uh, market is that you're trying to capture, and uh, the, the value of the data center uh, opportunity mm -hmm. ultimately. Okay. So, as I said, we are very focused on this the inferencing side. And uh, uh, so far, it was more about training. The data center compute was more, more about training, but it's a shifting from training to the inferencing as we scale more applications uh, like uh, to these days. So uh, as we scale AI applications, it really demands this AI computing needs to be more efficient and uh, uh, cost effective. And uh, we think uh, there will be much more uh, demand and the people will uh, need much more also innovation on this uh, inferencing side, uh, uh, we believe. So uh, we worked on this product for the last uh, eight years, and I think uh, we can um, quite uh, provide 
we can be quite in differentiated position than the current income compared to current incumbent. June is China a market opportunity for Furiosa or are the barriers to entry given the tariffs and given the competition there, given what's been happening with uh, DeepSeek, is, is it just too complex and challenging? Um, all these uh, geopolitical uh, situation and the tariffs definitely makes uh, the business environment uh, more uh, challenging. Uh, but uh, look like a China market is also definitely a very uh, potentially a big, uh, it's very big market. And uh, we are open to working, work with uh, uh, any uh, good uh, partners and the customers regardless of the geography. Uh, and but we will try to follow all these rules and uh, 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 the, by the government, all the compliance issues will follow them strictly. But uh, we are very open to work with any customers in any region. And June, uh, just finally, can you uh, give us a sense of where uh, the valuation of Furiosa AI stands now in the wake of this uh, latest uh, funding round? And ultimately, it, is it an IPO uh, that is uh, the exit strategy? Um, now our uh, full uh, focus is to, uh, uh, to serve our customers, to accelerate our go to market and scale our production. So we like to build a durable and the fundamental business. And I think we'll have the right timing for our IPO at the right inflection point of, of our business and the product. And uh, I think we have a quite good valuation at the moment, but uh, we'll, our, uh, we have a high also potential upside uh, as we are entering the market with the exciting product.